Do you want to know the secret to staying motivated to work out even when you're stressed or maybe depressed? Well, if so, you're in luck. So my name is Emily Napier and I'm the co-founder of Get Fit Now, which is an all women's fitness studio. And we also have virtual training programs available for women across the country as well. Now, right now we have a lot of crazy things going on as far as businesses being forced to shut down for certain time periods, or maybe you're even being asked to stay inside and, and to go undergo a quarantine to help stop this virus. Now, that could be stressful, right? There are a lot of things that are outside of our control. Nobody knows how long this is going to last, but the thing is, is that we're all being impacted together as a nation, as the world is being impacted. And so I wanna share with you some tips to help keep you on track, to help you stay consistent with working out during this time. And the first thing is I wanna recommend that you find yourself a workout buddy. Now, maybe you're not able to physically go into the gym right now and work out, but a workout buddy can even be somebody that you're checking in with weekly or checking in with daily, and it's just helping hold you accountable for your goals. Maybe your goal right now is just trying to get a 30 minute walk in every day so that you can get outside, get some fresh air, and get your blood pumping. So just somebody to check in and say, hey, Hey, Emily, did you get that workout? Did you get that walk in today? Now, if you don't have a workout buddy or you don't know anybody who you can check in with, we can be that buddy for you. And we've got a virtual training program that we have put together. And it's something that, again, we've helped thousands of women reach their fitness goals with. But due to the kind of changing landscape of things right now, we're even stepping it up. And with that program, we're doing one-on-one -on -one weekly check-in calls with all of our members. And that way, you've got somebody to physically connect with each week. We can go over your goals, things that you're struggling with, and help you there. Now, the next thing is you wanna get a consistent workout plan in place. I want you to pull out your calendar, and I want you to schedule when you're going to do your workouts. If you're not able to physically go to the gym right now, it can, again, be hard to stay motivated to work out, especially if you're extremely stressed or if you're depressed. You can tell yourself, okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a, an effort to work out this week from home. And then before you know it, it's Saturday and you haven't done anything as far as physical activity. So I want you to pull out your planner or pull out your Google Calendar on your phone right now. And I want you to block out four times this week that you're gonna make an effort even to work out if it's just 20 minutes. You can do things like doing jumping jacks at home, doing sit-ups, you don't have to have equipment. You can get creative, grab cans of soup out of the out of your pantry. You can use those as weights or take a suitcase and, and put different towels in it. You can use that as makeshift bar. There are ways to get creative right now, guys. Don't let things that are going on be an excuse for you not to stay consistent with working out or even consistent with eating clean. Now again, if you need help, so if you're thinking, okay, yeah, I can find cans of soup or I can get a suitcase, and but I just really do not know what to do and it's way too overwhelming going online right now and trying to find workout videos or, or figuring out how to do different things. Again, with our virtual training program, we will send you four workouts every week, two are upper body, two are lower body. They're designed for you to do them in just 20 and 30 minutes a day from the comfort of your home. If your little ones are out of school with you right now, get them involved. This is a great time to help them develop healthy habits that they can keep with them and take with them for the rest of their life. Now, the third thing is to make sure that you set goals that are realistic. So if you hate running, don't set a goal and say, you know what, at the end of this, I'm gonna go run a marathon. Because if you hate running, that's probably not the best goal to set right now. But when I say setting goals that are realistic, again, maybe your goal is, you know what, I'm gonna really focus on getting a gallon of water in every day. So I'm gonna really focus on my water intake this week. That's what I wanna focus on. Or maybe it's doing something like saying, every day I'm gonna make myself a green smoothie. So I'm gonna focus on getting protein in. I wanna add some kale to that. I wanna add some veggies. I wanna add some other veggies or fruit to that. I wanna really focus on fueling my body with really delicious and, and clean nutrients. Maybe it's saying, okay, for the first time ever, I want to consistently get a routine in place for working out. So I'm gonna work out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 6 to 6.30 a.m. before my kids get up, that's when I'm gonna get that workout in. So if you need help, if you feel lost during this time, you, you need a community to be a part of, you need help figuring out what kind of workouts you can do from the comfort of, of your home, if you need help with the meal plan, we've got you covered. Again, we're all in this together. We are ramping up our accountability during this, this time period. So even if you're working out from home, you're still gonna have a really strong community and you're gonna have a one-on-one -on -one personal accountability coach that's going to be helping you through all of this. So you're gonna see a link in this post that you can click and it's going to give you all the details about what our virtual training program includes. 
Um, but if, even if you choose not to join us, I hope that these tips that I share are something that you find useful, helpful, and just know that we're all, all in it together. And I keep saying that, but I just really think that's important to remember right now. And that I'm sending lots of love and support your way. Bye.